Kaczewski, president of the Munson Rotary Club. We're here at Veterans Field in Munson today. We are raising money for the Dana-Farber Cancer Institute. We have raffle prizes, we've got a food truck festival going on, there's so much food, so uh, we've got a beer garden, wine garden, there's tons of games for the kids, we've got live bands, a DJ. If you're out and about and you can come down and show your support, all of our proceeds are going 100% to Dana-Farber Cancer Institute. So we've been working this event for almost a year now, so all of our proceeds are coming from donations that people have donated raffle prizes, the trucks that have entered into the food truck festival, their entry fee is being donated to Dana-Farber. The Patriots actually donated um, two free tickets. We've got Bruins tickets, so we've gotten even more help from outside vendors. Um, we've got Plymouth Rock has donated some of the blow-up um, things for the kids to play on. We've got some really fantastic vendors here. There's all types of food. Um, there's dessert, there's coffee vendors, we've got fried dough. Tony Valley with um, Tony Valley Pizza actually put together all of our bands for us today. So it'll be a fun time all day. You'll have you know, live music, lots of great people, and um, you know, very, very good turnout. We're extremely happy. Please gobble down all the food and drink all the beer. For Project 267. Thank you so much, Munson, for having us. Rumors spread around in that Texas town about that shack outside. Look great. You know what I'm talking about. Just let me know if you're gonna go. To their home out of the range. They got a lot of nice skills. Today has been incredible. I mean, it's been a crazy. great turnout. Yeah, it's crazy, actually. Um, we came here expecting, you know, a decent turnout, but way more than we all expected. And it's a great thing for the Dana Farber. It's been a great day for everybody and uh, a lot of money raised. We're hoping to uh, present a nice check to a doctor today and we're going to be uh, continuing fun. We've got a lot of good bands. I talked to all the bands. Actually, I got the bands all together for today and it's been a great um, turnout for them because they're the people in front of they're playing for a good crowd, you know? So on top of that, they're enjoying a lot of good food. It's loud enough. It's loud, <laughs> loud enough. <laughs> it's loud. You can hear it. It's perfect out through everywhere, but unbelievable turnout. And it's a good thing because it's good to see the community come out and it's good to see that actually people do care about the Dana-Farber and are paying attention to, uh, to this. We didn't expect to uh, have so many pizzas uh, enjoyed so far today, so we're still making pizzas and we're, we're still on it. But we had to actually run out and get more supplies and um, we're way beyond what we expected. Probably about 200 already? Oh yeah, easy. Yeah, it's about 200 pizzas already. We're so. pushing for 300. That's right, and then once we make 300, we have to stop because we have no more. <laughs> <laughs> to my dad, Matt Valley. <laughs> I'm he's I'm the one for show him how to make pieces. <laughs> yes, he's the one that made me, you know, you know, be able to do this. He's the one to show me how to make the secret recipe of the Happy Valley right. pizza. So I got my son, Anthony Valley Jr., my daughter Michaela, my mom, Phyllis Valley, and we're all just here. It's we're having a family a... affair. Yes. <laughs> all family and uh, we're just enjoying ourselves today. We do a lot of specialty pizzas once we're um, off off scene when we have a little more time to make the pizzas, but today we're in a little bit of a rush though. <laughs> when we do events, mainly it's for events right now because we don't run a restaurant, we just do it uh, basically once every few weeks we do it to make it specialty and make it um, so that people, you know, don't get bored with it and sick of it, you know, want to just come on and make it a, a fun family day. We're going to be at the uh, St. Joe's in Thorndike. Actually, we're going to be there October 11th and that'll be a little more low-key, you know, yes. made to order. We do a lot more on our menu. Go right into Facebook, Tony's Happy Valley Pizza. Just go around on Facebook, you can just check it there. And um, we have a lot of different ads and everything everywhere, and we have all different flyers that people can pick up. And go on, you know, definitely, like I said, Facebook is the best way to reach us. We'll go with this big slice up top. Got a couple pepperonis on it, non-GMO, all organic. Yeah. Instant thumbs up. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
I know I've eaten a lot of stuff today, but it's a very light, delicious pizza. The, the crust is perfect. It's it's got a, a nice thick flaky crust to it. Uh, the, the pepperonis and the cheese are are perfect. They got a little bit of a crisp to it too. Unbelievable. My name is Ken Bailey. I'm one of the owners of JB Cafe. Uh, my wife, with my wife, um, we've been doing this for about 30 years, the uh, con food concession business. Um, and we do mostly local Springfield and uh, you know local shows around here on the weekends during the summer. Basically, we do the basics like hot dogs and hamburgers, but then we get into uh, specialty grilled cheese like the frigging goat and. Uh, People are really love that. It's a you know a goat cheese and um, fig preserve with bacon and arugula. You know, and people love that sort of specialty sort of uh, grilled cheeses and um, stuff that with avocado and uh, you know we vary our menu from place to place wherever we go depending on the crowd. But on this one, we're trying to keep it pretty basic, just because we want everybody else to have success. We want all these other food trucks to be successful. So if we decide to do it again, they will come back and join us, you know, because they've made plenty of profit from it. So that was a whole part of the goal to do it. You know. Like for the example, the, each of these food vendors paid a couple of hundred dollars to be here. That All that money goes exclusively to Dana-Farber. The organizers and anybody working on this has not made a dime and it's cost us a lot, you know time and money and effort um, we've raised uh, my wife has raised a whole bunch of money from businesses to pay for the expenses for the advertising and all the banners and everything you see everywhere but it's taken a tremendous amount of work and uh, we got a lot of sponsors to do it you know and, and people have been very generous the whole goal my wife's goal was to raise twenty thousand dollars and as of this moment, I think we have passed it. Uh, we were coming into the show with about $16,000 raised, and uh, from the raffles and the donations that have been happening today, I'm pretty sure we live uh, very, very close to the 20 or over it. Well, my wife is the organizer for it, and she started this idea last year she started physically working on it with the uh, going through the permitting and everything with the town, finding out what is required to put it on. She started that in around September and she's been working diligently on it for basically 12 months. And uh, it's, it's took a hell of a lot of effort, but uh, as you see, it's very successful today. I mean, you know, we got lucky with the weather. Um, and so we're very pleased with the turnout. The, the basic premise of the thing was, for the Food Truck Festival, was to raise money for Dana-Farber for cancer research. I'm a cancer survivor, I went to Dana-Farber, should they save my life? So, it's very dear to me. Yeah. And we have friends who've gone through the same thing. So this is, excuse me, a uh, big money maker, bigger, give back to them, thank you. Let me just say that this is all done, 90% of it was done by Jean Bailey. She's the one that worked on it. She's the one that organized it. We've had a lot of help from other people, Lisa Jolliker particularly. She did all the promotion in Facebook and you know, that's what got the crowds out, you know, because we had a lot of hits from, from um, Facebook and, and, and other formats. But, uh, and I'm old and I, I can't do Facebook. <laughs> I don't do that. And, but it's just, uh, it will, well, Lisa put us over the top because she's the one that got the crowds out. You know? We did all, Jeannie did 90% of the work, but Lisa put us over the top, you know. Oh. You got it? Yeah. 
Oh my god. Oh, that was fantastic. <laughs> Holy moly, that's so good. Like, look at that. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's fantastic. Right. Like, the, this is like the perfect, it came right off, right out of the, the fryer. Holy oh, moly, this chili is so good. I can't, I, I gotta share this with the world. I'm bound by your wild desire. I fell into a ring of fire. Go! I fell into a burning ring of fire. There you go, man. I went down, 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 yeah. And the flames went higher. Burns, burns, burns. Yeah, the ring of fire. The ring of fire. Today we're serving all types of fajitas. We have a shrimp fajita with a spicy sriracha. We have um, a grilled steak and we have a chicken um, with onions, peppers, cheese, and um, that has a spicy aioli, shrimp. I think with everybody's health craze and the no carbs and no sugar, um, and it's got very good seasoning to it. Well, we have a restaurant in town on Main Street also. Um, so this is just secondary uh, for right now. This is actually our first one. The owner of the tavern, it's always been something that he's wanted to try and he's always in doing new and innovative things. So we figured, why not a food truck? So far, so good. We've been pretty steady and we've had a lot of first timers. So hopefully it'll bring them down the street. How this started is we hold fundraisers at the restaurant every Thursday for various groups and organizations where we give a percentage of our sales. And so when they had come to us, when Gene Bailey had come to us to um, approach us about the food truck fest, absolutely. We said we'll definitely support it and do it. And so we've been holding fundraisers every other week for Dana Farber at the restaurant. Um, so that's what brought us to do this today. It's been a beautiful day. It's perfect. She put on a very, very good show today. All right. Thank you so much. You're welcome. All right. Oh, Enjoy. wow. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, uh, man. We got, we got shrimp in there. We got some grilled peppers, two types of Spanish rice, then there's shredded cheese in there as well, grilled onions, all wrapped up in a nice, floury, baked tortilla. And then to top it all off, you add a little, I'm gonna choose lime aioli. Oh, that's, that's beautiful. Here, here, here. Try, take a nice bite of everything here. Oh, that's fantastic. Oh wow, that lime aioli. That really, really limey. That, that, that is a perfect kick. Mixes with the shrimp. I mean, usually I like lemon for my shrimp, but this lime and the creaminess of the sauce mixed with the grilled onions and the grilled peppers. I, I'm watering from the mouth. Holy moly. That is, that is unbelievably good. Let me get a little rice in there. I'm trying to get a good bite. My hands are shaking. I'm so excited. Oh, wow. A plus. A plus. There was smoke on the mountain in the western sky. When the hangman called and the tax man came. The years dried up and left a chill in your blood. Said I just go if it's all the same to you. So our number one dish are the shrimp tacos. Uh, we sell a million of them. They're a, a beer battered uh, shrimp that are done in a Sam Adams uh, beer batter, and they're tossed in a sweet chili bang bang sauce. Uh, you get two of them per order, and then uh, obviously adding the hand cut fries to it is is the way to go. Um, today's been a great day. I mean, the weather's perfect. You can't go wrong. Uh, we're about sold out of everything, so uh, it's been a good day. So we're based out of Auburn, Mass. Um, I'm also the head chef at Chuck Steakhouse. 
uh, in Auburn, and uh, that's where our commissary is. The Hook is my own business, but I'm just the chef at Chuck Steakhouse as well. So a lot of these items that we feature, you can find on the menu at Chuck's as well. Uh, on the lunch menu, we have the shrimp tacos. On the dinner menu, we have fish tacos. Uh, we have the uh, barbecue pulled pork. We have um, the bang bang shrimp. We love doing the food truck festivals. Uh, we do quite a few. Uh, we're with the Food Truck Alliance um, from Central Mass. Um, and there's about 15 food truck festivals that we put on personally a year. Well, my father has bladder cancer right now, so uh, the whole Cancer Foundation means a lot to me especially. Um, so dealing with, with the personal side of it and then you know wanting to support anybody else out there that's got cancer. Um, it's, uh, it's, a, it's a very meaningful event to me. Just happy to see the turnout. Um, a lot of good people here. A lot of good trucks here, a lot of good food, good craft beer, um, good wine. Um, it's just nice to see a lot of the people come out and support. All right, we got some delicious looking shrimp tacos here. I like this is a beer batter. It's covered in a delicious looking sauce. Oh my god. Oh wow. Well, the crunch that this shrimp has is out of this world. Now, I gotta mix it with some of the other fixings here. Maybe a tomato, maybe an onion. Get a little bit of everything in there. And oh, the sauce is crazy good. That, that is one of a kind. And it's got a little bit of coleslaw in there too. This is crazy delicious. Crazy. Got to put him on the street. Red, white, and blue. People shuffling in the feet. People sleeping in the shoes. People kind of look at us strange when they come up to our table because our salsa is not your typical salsa. It's a creamy salsa that comes in like a condiment container. So when they see it, they kind of get shocked and taken a little aback. But the most popular one is our green salsa, which is the creamy cilantro jalapeno, which is a very mild spice, but big flavorful type of salsa. It's served in a condiment container. You're not gonna find a salsa that comes in a condiment container anywhere else. Also that it's authentic Mexican salsa because if you go south of the border to Mexico, the salsa down there is creamy. It is not chunky because that's the Americanized type of salsa. So it's a salsa that's not just for your chips, it's for all of your food. It's like a staple for your fridge. Literally, I put it on my lasagna the other night to kind of lighten up the flavor. Uh, you can put it on chicken, fish, sushi as a salad dressing or even on a Subway sandwich. It's very versatile. Oh, I would definitely do it again. I can't wait for the next opportunity. And um, it's really great because it gives us exposure. It puts us out there a little bit more to the community, it allows us to connect with people and spend some time and have a little fun ourselves. Outside of the market, they can find us on social media, Facebook, Instagram. We don't have web presence yet, but they can follow the festivals or anything else that we're gonna be involved in right there.
Did everybody have a good time today? I'm really hoping that you did because we had some amazing musicians up here. We had Jeff and Aaron's band. We had Tom Shields. We had Standing Bear. And we are the Kingdom of Jones. Damn, there's the fantasy players a tune. Something to make us all happy. Do anything, take us out of this goal. Sing a song, play a guitar. Make it snappy You are the one who can make them so late But doing that to break out and say Please don't be sad if it was a straight mind you had Sound, play guitar, make it snap it. 